Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the next video of the Crushing E-Commerce course. In this one, we're going to be talking about setting up retargeting ads. Now, initially, earlier in the course, I talked about getting the retargeting pixel set up on your site so that when you have your ads starting, you have a campaign going off, we want to set up the individual custom audiences for our sales pages. And with this audience, pretty much it's Facebook collecting all the leads that are actually landing on your sales page. And if they don't purchase, we can continue advertising this product to that, to that person, what we call retargeting, so that we hit that 7 to 10 viewpoint that makes the, uh, where the average viewer decides it's time to buy. Now we can also use these custom audiences to kind of jumpstart our next products and our future launches because we already know these people are interested in what we have to offer or at least what we are talking about more so even the, than uh, the interest targeting and dialing in your Facebook ads. Custom audiences are that, that asset that really are powerful and retargeting ads is where it starts at because that is the best the best conversion rates pretty much best ROI ads out there are are retargeting ads so let's go ahead and walk through the process for we just started the ads for our beard oil here and as the traffic comes through we'll create those retargeting ads but for now we need to before you start you need to set up a custom audience to retarget to. So in the ads dashboard on Facebook, you can go into the audiences section, which will be a link on the left side, and we're gonna create a new audience, much like we did in the beginning. We'll click custom audience, website traffic. This time we wanna use the actual page that we're collecting the, uh, the people that go to. So we're gonna choose the second option, people who vi visit specific web pages, Next off, we need to add the URL here, which we'll go ahead, we'll create a different one. We already have that one created. We'll create this one. Grab that URL. We're gonna bump this to the max amount of days, which is 180. This is gonna be beard growth pills. So we know, next create audience. Okay, and that is it. As you send people uh, to that page, this will collect. The size will grow, and this custom audience we can use to advertise to and everything like that. So we have the custom audience created. As it goes through, we want to start retargeting. <clears throat> so, like I said, you would just create an ad, much like you did before, but we would only use the custom audience here. Let's jump into an example here on the Dobby shirt that I showed you earlier. This is a retargeting ad selling the shirt. Um, we have the custom audience here of Dobby graduation 2015, United States location, age 18 to 65 plus, male and female, only on mobile. <clears throat> That's about 2,600 people considering it's a retargeting audience, it's a custom audience of everyone that visits that sales page during that time. Now we're getting low click-through rates, you know, nothing like huge on our normal metric score, but the cost per conversion is right where we want it, five, six dollars. We're making like fifteen, twenty dollars a sale on that one. <clears throat> so retargeting ads are very powerful, very cool stuff. Use a different type of, you know, layout, test different things out, see what works best for these retargeting ads, just like you would any other ads, but definitely get those custom audiences up, get those retargeting ads so that you can get those viewpoint up to where it makes those, those prospects become buyers. So my name is Travis Patel. Hope you enjoyed this one. In the next one, I'm gonna be talking about lookalike audiences.